Most of us already have our favorite art YouTubers. You know, those go-tos when you're feeling creative? What about the ones that don't get enough recognition? These are my top five underrated art YouTubers. I'll also be drawing their profile pictures just so we can have some art content at the same time. And in no particular order, the first one up is Sage's Sketchbook. Out of all the drawings in this video, I think this one turned out the best and I think it was the last one I drew so I'm surprised I wasn't burnt out by that point because I really like this one. Sage started YouTube around the same time as me in the first lockdown in 2020 and since then she has gained almost 5,000 subscribers so if we could get her there that would be pretty cool. Recently her videos have been really interesting, they're so casual and chill and she just talks about whatever she wants and I really love that because it genuinely feels like I'm drawing with a friend and I always get to the end of the video without noticing even if it's 40 minutes long i'll watch it all while i'm drawing because it's just so engaging and relaxing she also talks a lot about her ocs she has a whole story called solis which she has been working on for ages and the amount of effort gone into that is just amazing because i mean i have ocs but i haven't put as much detail into the stories as sage has so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you should definitely head over there now for a little bit about the actual drawing. I colour picked from the profile picture so I could get it pretty accurate, but then I did lighten the colours just so I could add shading on top, and I think that the final product is a little bit too light, but then again you could also say that's just differences in our art styles. I love that this one had glasses because drawing glasses is just so fun, especially digital, which I've now found out because I've never done it digitally before. I also love the highlights in the hair, it's just so fun, and then for the background I made mine a little bit different, I made it a bit softer, but overall I think I think it's pretty similar and I really like the final product. Next I'll be drawing the one and only Hershey Draws. Recently her channel has kind of blown up and now she's at 26,000 subscribers which is quite a lot to me but I still think she does deserve more so I'm still going to talk about her. I really enjoyed drawing her profile picture because it's so soft and pastel. I think mine ends up a little bit brighter and quite different at the end but other than that I quite like the drawing. Hershey's channel is the definition of aesthetic. It's so chill, so relaxing. She's got this whole purple theme going on and I love it. Also, can we talk about her thumbnails? I don't know how she makes them so simple yet so pretty. I, d I don't know how she does it. My thumbnails take so long but I still haven't managed to get something as consistent as hers. It's just so beautiful. Her whole channel, it's just really put together. I do like how this drawing came out but I think mine is kind of like a squished version of hers and I still prefer hers to what I drew but you'll see in a second the fluffy hoodie that I did. I think it's quite nice if I do say so myself. I don't know, I just managed to get this fluffy colouring and yet it's still not like hairy, you know? If that makes any sense, I just really like how it turns out and how I managed to get it soft but still shade. I'm still not amazing at digital but I think I'm improving. I probably don't practice, that's why. The last time I did digital was in the previous digital video which was at least a couple weeks ago I think so I'm a bit out of practice not that I've ever been in practice but yeah I do like how this one turned out and I think you should definitely check out Hershey and the background was pretty easy and a nice way to finish off it's just a light pink with some white and yeah it just really pulls it together yeah that's the final product two down three to go here's a fancy transition and here is citrus gem first of all let's just admire that profile picture the colors the purple liner it's it's beautiful and I was so excited to draw this one. The first thing that I can say about Citrus Gem is editing master. Literally just watch one of her videos, you'll be stunned. She put so much effort into it and she inspired me to kind of put some effort into editing my intro. It's not as good as hers but you know I'm quite proud of it and she helped me discover the app CapCut which seems to be a really cool app and I'm gonna try to use it in future videos except I'll need to really restrain myself from not overdoing it but yeah anyway she's got 2k subscribers if you haven't heard of her make sure to go check it out her art is also very very cool she has a very unique style and I think she's definitely going places in the future it's so chaotic but creative and it's just messy but also neat in a way I don't know, I just love it, it's so unique and it's really inspirational. Also her thumbnails are amazing too, she just acts as if they're a whole nother art piece and she puts a lot of effort into everything she does so I definitely think she deserves a lot more recognition. 
I was really excited for this one because as you know, I love drawing glasses, they're just so fun. These ones didn't have like a top part to them if that makes sense, and I wasn't sure if that was like a stylistic choice so that you can see the eyes better, but I decided to go with that anyway and then I added in the glass as well, even though you can't see that on her version, so I think I did it how it's supposed to be, but I'm not really sure. Either way, I do like the final result, and Citrus Gem, if you're watching, I hope you like it too. After a quick purple background, it's done and it's time to move on to the fourth one which is drawing with Nicolina. I discovered her a while ago and recently I've really enjoyed her videos. They're usually quite long so they're great for drawing along to. It's also like drawing with a friend. I just love that whole vibe. They're very casual. She talks about anything. It's not always about the art. It can be any topic and I just love that. Also her aesthetic is so put together. It's just yellow. It's just cottagecore yellow everything. It's so consistent and I really love that about her. Her profile picture was fun to draw but I'm not really sure about the final product. I can't tell if I love it or if I don't. I think I just got the proportions a little bit messed up. Um, the eyes maybe they're too close together or something. So yeah something's a little bit off with it but I do like it. Also I tried to color pick but it didn't really work because obviously her style is very yellow and mine doesn't really have that so I didn't want to copy that you know so I made up the colors by myself but I tried to get them pretty accurate just with less yellow if that makes sense I also added a sort of purple lighting or shading to all of these and it's just a fun little touch it didn't really match hers I don't think because of the whole yellow vibe purple is the opposite color to yellow so it doesn't make much sense but I still think it's a cute touch I'm also not a huge fan of how I drew the hair it seems very stiff on mine whereas on Nicolina's it's very flowy also you should definitely see her sketchbooks i don't know how her sketchbook tour hasn't like properly blown up because her sketchbooks are like the ideal sketchbook for a lot of people even though she might not think that i really love it they're so messy but neat you know that whole vibe I, I just love it last but not least we have friendle may she's on 1k subscribers roughly so hopefully hopefully we can get that up a little bit because she definitely deserves more and annoyingly after right after i drew this she changed her whole channel her profile picture is now changed and yeah this one isn't very relevant anymore but there's nothing really i can do about it now also this one i'm drawing right now is horrible i really don't like this one so as you'll see i rubbed it all out and i started a new version the proportions on this just looked really odd kind of like a doll but like a, a really ugly doll <laughs> so yeah i'm not a fan of this first try but i did try again um as you'll see in a second after flipping the canvas i was like no this is not gonna work i cannot stare at this any longer so yeah i did rub it out and start again there we go here's me sketching the newer version which i end up liking a lot better anyway as for her channel she does a lot of animatics which i love because i can never have the motivation to do them so frequently you know her channel is also like drawing with a friend can you tell i just love that vibe anyway she does a lot of character drawings she has a few oc stories as well which i love hearing i've binged all her videos just the other day but yeah she is kind of revamping her channel at the minute i haven't seen her recent video yet but i know she's got a new profile picture and a lot of new stuff's coming in so it might be a bit different but make sure to stick around for that i wish i could have done more than five but that's all for today bye